Hi everyone! So with Valentine's Day coming up, I've decided for the next couple of weeks I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some easy treat boxes that are actually really cool and can be decorated any way you want from shabby chic to masculine to even something perfect for kids. So without further ado, let's head on over to the craft table. These are the mailbox treat boxes that I'm going to show you how to make today. And they are just so cute and you can dress them up any way you want. Um, I've got these kind of fancy with pearls and lace and I use this gorgeous um, shabby rose paper from Victoria Designs. So it's a digital um, printable paper pack that is absolutely gorgeous. And I use some other things from Victoria Designs that I'll be showing you a little bit later. But these are just so cute and the little drawers come out and try not to get my fingers in the way here. This one has Hershey's Kisses in it and this one has Hershey's Nuggets in it and it actually holds six Hershey's Nuggets perfectly. So it's pretty awesome. You could put whatever treats you want in there. You can put some of these tickets in there or these little coupons that are on this one. You could put some little love notes, whatever you want in there. And they're not just fancy like this because today when I make them, I'm going to be using these playful Valentine papers so that you can see that it also works great for kids. And you can also make them masculine or any way you want. Before we get started, I want to show a quick tip to those of you that use printable papers. And for those of you who do not, you can actually skip past this part but if you're using printable papers um, these are from Victoria Designs and this is from their heart paper pack which is perfect for um, Valentine's Day and sometimes when you do printable papers you don't want to do a whole eight and a half by eleven inch piece of cardstock and for this particular project you don't need to because you can cut a piece of cardstock down to four by six just as if it were a photo, you know, put that cardstock into your printer where you would normally put your photo paper and then go to the paper you want to use, click print. You will get your options whether you want to print it eight and a half by 11 or five by seven or four by six and choose four by six and it'll print out like this, which is just about the size you're going to be needing. And my printer that I used um, prints edge to edge but if your printer does not print edge to edge and prints a border you have nothing to worry about because we're going to be trimming part of this down and if the other part won't show so it will work out just fine okay here's what you're going to need you're going to need two pieces of cardstock cut to one and a half inches by three and a half inches and these could be solid or patterned they are for the bottom of the mailbox if you use two pieces, then you're going to have one on the outside of the bottom and one on the inside of the bottom. If you just use one piece, then this is how it's going to look on the bottom with, you know, the ends that you fold in and then you'll be able to see the other part. And it may not be as noticeable. It just depends on what papers you're using. So it's your choice whether you do one or two of that size. The next thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that is six and a half inches by three and a half inches. And this is going to be for the outside of your mailbox. And then you're going to need a piece that is five and a half inches by three and a half inches. And this is what we're going to be making the drawer out of. So this part. And that is what you're going to need to get started. Okay, so this is the outside of the mailbox. So it is six inches by three and a half. And so we're gonna lay it this direction and you're going to score it at a half inch and at five and a half inches. And so basically that's a half an inch from each end. And then we're going to take the other piece and this is gonna be for the drawer. And we're gonna score it at one inch from every end. So we're gonna start off 
doesn't matter actually where you start off because it's the same. You're going to go one inch, turn it, one inch, turn it, one inch, turn it, and one inch. So it has been scored at one inch from every side. And that is all the scoring we're going to do. I brought in my craft mat to make things easier to see so that it's not white on white. And this is what we're going to be working with right now. So first thing we're going to do is this is the one that we scored a half inch from each end. And we are going to fold it on each of those score lines. And if you want, you can use your bone folder. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some half inch double sided tape um, or you can use a quarter inch and use it, you know, twice as much, however you want to do it. And we're going to put that on the inside right here on that half inch. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing at the other end. So that's why I'm using half inch tape because it's a half inch space there that we've created. All right, and peel off that layer. And now you're going to take your bottom. And because we're going to, I'm on this one, I'm going to be putting another bottom on it. So this one, we don't want facing outward. Um, Actually, with this design, you could have, and it would have looked just fine. <laughs> but I'm going to put the other one on the bottom. So for this one, I'm going to have it face the inside. And we're just going to line that right up. Like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Maybe. <laughs> just kidding. There we go. I chopped off all my fingernails the other day because they were starting to break. So now I have no fingernails to grab anything with. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. We're just going to line that right up. And fold it over. Okay. And now I'll fold those edges. Now we have our little mailbox. And... You could leave it with the white showing. You could have done it the other way with the little pattern showing. And like I said, it wouldn't have looked so bad on this one as compared to, you know, that was a drastic difference. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on the outside. And to do that, I'm actually going to be using my Beacon 3-in-1 that I absolutely love. And you can still use the, um, the double-sided tape if you want. but I'm just going to do this. Okay. Just turn it right over and lay it on the bottom. Just like that. See, makes it look really pretty. Now it's pretty on the inside and it's pretty on the outside. Okay, next we're going to get on to the drawer. So on this one, we're also going to fold on every score line. All the way around. Just like that. And then we are going to clip just on two sides. So we're not going to clip on all four sides and actually you can choose whether you want to do it on the ends or the side. And I'm totally confused you. So just don't listen to me. I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut, see if I can get it to show up here, right along this score line, just that one inch right there. And I'm going to do the same thing at this end on that same score line. And now I'm turning it all the way around and I'm going to do the same thing 
And what that has done was it's created these little flaps that we're going to use to make the box. But there's something else I like to do that makes things a little bit easier also. And I'm going to take and let me see if you can see this. I'm just going to cut at an angle to the corner. So I'm taking out a little triangle there. And it just makes it easier when folding it. And so I'm going to do that on all of the tabs that we just cut. There is no certain thing. So if you ask, well, how far in do you cut? I don't, I just eyeball it. You know, you don't want to go in too far, but you can, you can get an idea here of the, the size. And so now what we have are these little tabs that are going to go in and adhere just like that on each end, creating our little drawer. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some double-sided tape on and hook it all together. cute little box and we have a cute little mailbox and that slides right inside just like that. For those of you who have watched my videos you know that I'm usually not one for showing you how to decorate. Um, I like taking you through the process or tutorial on making an item but I like you to use your own imagination for decorating and you know I will actually show examples, but today I'm going to do a little bit of decorating for you just to show you that, you know, pull out the drawer and I'm going to add a little bling to this. So it looks like right about there is the right amount. Just cut that off. You can get this kind of stuff at the dollar store or Michael's in one of their cheap bins. So. You know, you don't have to spend a fortune on that. Okay, so we're just gonna put this right along the bottom. Of course, it'd be good if I'm not going at an angle. Just keep it even along the bottom. Okay, and of course, you're gonna wanna do that on both sides. So let me get another piece here. Look at that, it's already looking pretty spiffy, isn't it? Okay, next I want to add this cute little tag. Um, this is called Gift from the Heart Tags, and these are printables also from Victoria Designs. And I've cut it off from here. You can print these out bigger as a full size sheet, or you can print them out smaller. Um, I chose to sprint print them out smaller because I knew I was going to need it for this. So let me see if I can attach this on here with this cute little clippy thing. Hmm. Maybe it would have been better with a brad. What do you think? I should have put a brad right there through that hole. Yeah, maybe, but I'm just showing you some examples here. And let's see what else. You know, you could um, cut out some hearts like I did on this one and added some hearts. I added a butterfly, you know, little hearts on the end, little bows on the end. Um, you know, we've got some lace and pearls on these and more hearts. These little tags are really cute. Oops, let's pop that little guy back up. Oh, look, it doesn't that look so much better? So let me show you these, these um, little tickets. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, again, I've already been cutting off from these. So um, this right here 
with all these cute little sayings like romantic dinner, whatever the coupons, the romantic dinner, you know, cuddling, champagne. These are just so cute. So what I did was I took a row of these, cut them off, and let me turn this one back around here. I folded them up and stuck them on here so that whoever gets this can open it up and have all these cute little coupons to use. So I love that. And then the other thing were these tickets, which again, I printed them out um, not on a full size sheet, or maybe I did. I did print these out on a full size sheet. My bad, I just already cut some off to use. <laughs> but anyways, um, these are just so cute, you know, good for one kiss or one date night. And so these are really awesome. And let me show you on this one. I just, you know, hooked one on the outside. But you know what else is a cute idea? Is to put one inside, or even better yet, in the bottom. And when they take out their little Hershey's nuggets to eat, they're gonna find a ticket or two or three. Is that like the cutest thing ever? And by the way, yes, this perfectly fits six Hershey's nuggets. Look at that. Uh-oh, dropping things here. So, you know, that's just the perfect thing to do with those cute little tickets. I love them. Just to give you some ideas. And like I said, those are all from Victoria Designs. And I'll put links below to all of the things that I used from there. So you'll be able to find it. And this one, I've got Hershey's Kisses in. So I was just thinking that, you know, you could, you know, these are kind of more grown up or even girly or perfect for perfect for a teacher or a best friend or a co-worker or you know all kinds of things yeah but <laughs> anyways I was thinking that doing it in something more playful like this um the heart paper and stuff would be so cute for kids to do that's why I wanted to show you this and that's why I'm really not doing a lot of decorating on it actually because you know you may have some really cute things for kids that you want to add to this and that would just be perfect not just to give to a kid but for a kid to give to a teacher or to hand out at school or for a teenager to hand out to a good friend so so many possibilities with these so many possibilities with decorating them so many possibilities with who to give them to and just use your imagination. Everything from shabby chic to playful to masculine even for the man in your life. So just think about all of that. This was super easy to do and I hope you have fun making them. Thank you all for watching today and I hope you have fun making treat boxes. And a reminder before I go, Below in the description box, there is a link to Crafter's Castle Challenge where you are all welcome to enter your wonderful creations. And there are also links to all the Victoria Designs products that I used today. So just click where it says show more and it will drop down and you will find all of the links. Also, if you don't want to miss out on my next video, be sure that you're subscribed and click that little bell next to it, the subscribe button, and it will remind you. So happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.